Hi, everybody. It's Lauren. I'm just happy to be back with you to talk about uh, advancing great places to work, great cultures. We like to share examples of organizations, both large and small, global and local. But today we're going to go a little bit of a different twist and talk about billions. And the billions I'm talking about are really led here probably by individuals. And I want to talk about how they've created billions of uh, dollars of revenue, and I would say tapped into the marketplace, uh, and uh, given consideration to, to uh, culture in doing it. And the first person I want to talk about is Taylor Swift and her success on her in remarkable remarkable tours they're so remarkable that uh leaders of countries example uh justin trudeau um the uh, uh president i think of chile um other leaders mayors of cities have almost begged her to bring her tour um into that particular locale because it's had such a tremendous impact on the uh, economics um, an example, Philadelphia in May when she was there had the largest spike of, of room sales and restaurant sales since pre-pandemic times. The story I want to tell you about, though, around that I think really garners some attention, um, in addition, just in addition to the powerhouse that Swift is, is um, that she shared 55 million U.S. dollars in bonuses with her crew. And um, truck drivers, for example, all got $100,000. I think there are 50, some of them, um, $100 US, $100,000 US, each of them. That, but she spread $55 million around. Now, you can say that that's when you're making billions, that's pretty, uh, that that's, you know, not such a big deal, but it's a really big deal. And I think great cultures that the leaders share in the wins. It's not just about, trying to uh, find a compensation system that works to attract people. But there's an additional point that they go where they share in the win with people at all levels of the organization. And organizations where the culture is about making the top executives and the shareholders as rich as possible and to get away with as little as possible around comp I think never really become extraordinary. They they become mostly transactional. And um, I think over time that gets reflected. The second billion that I want to talk, uh, talk about is Beyonce. So when um, we were in uh, Barcelona, there was this massive lineup that we noticed that was literally probably five kilometers long. And it was people lined up this year uh, in June to go to the Beyonce concert. The cultural thing that I want to talk about from Beyonce is that after every concert, Beyonce brings your entire cast together after she's reviewed copious notes from the previous concert so that they might have the information on how they might get better. So she's great cultures have the ability to um, uh, give a picture, a purpose, but also to be clear about what it means to have that purpose become real through the actions of everybody. So everybody's engaged. It's not just Beyonce can't just be phenomenal on her own. She also has to uh, be phenomenal from the uh, people right at the ticket taking through lights, cameras, action. You get it, right? It's everybody. Taylor Swift, of course, would be the same, but these are remarkable, remarkable leaders around being able to apply. So it's great, not perfect leadership, but it is about bringing clarity to people. Uh, and of course, the other billion that you can't avoid talking about is the phenomena of the Barbie movie. I think in 13 days, they have garnered 
uh, over a billion dollar revenue. I think there are only 50 movies or so that have ever got to the billion dollar mark. They did it in 13 days and they really haven't recounted a lot of the global revenue yet. And when you read the story about Barbie, you know, it actually kind of started about 19, 2009 or somewhere in that range. Like many of these movies, uh, they see a little bit of light and then they get detoured and ideas change. And, and, and finally, Greta Gerwig and her partner uh, in writing the script um, got the green light from Warner Brothers and here we are. And this is about having an, an, an inspiring purpose and thinking big. I mean, um, it wasn't just a good script. It was the idea about trying to bring this, I guess, existential journey of Barbie coming to life that's really tapped into um, all these uh, viewers that are just enamored with everything that Barbie stands for. So we we love to talk about uh, the lineup theory in um, and the lineup measurement around great cultures as being an indicator. When you are doing something great and extraordinary, people line up uh, to get there. And they line up for Taylor Swift. They not only line up, but they create seismic events, literally, like they did in Seattle. Shook the ground so much that it was earthquake worthy in terms of measurement. And in order to uh, reinforce her gratefulness, she shared it with people that made that happen. And then, of course, the lineup for Beyonce. Um, five kilometers, people stand there for two days waiting to get in to experience the show, much like they would, like they would with Taylor Swift. And then, of course, the lineup for all the Barbie movies, for the Barbie movie in every theater, you know, that for the last couple of years, you could have shot a cannon through most of those theaters and until Barbie and Oppenheimer showed up. There wasn't much action. So um, the cultural component is that the leaders there, Taylor Swift, Beyonce, and Greta Gerwig and her crew, created these conditions for something outstanding to happen. Now, um, it's a little bit different, obviously, than organizations where they try to sustain themselves, but some of the same lessons apply. Uh, and so I think it's just worth worth noting that some of the leverages around creating these great lineups are that a staff that is so committed to ex your experience because they know that you're going to share in the well-being of it, uh, staff or a team that is so committed because they know really clearly what's expected of them in order to create excellence, um, and a leader that has the tenacity to persevere and to make uh, come to take something off paper and make it come alive and connect their people that want to show up to the purpose uh, of uh, an aspiring purpose and story, literally in the case of Barbie. So there you go. Some other examples to think about around how maybe a little bit of a different angle, maybe a little bit of a stretch, but you know what? Billions can make you think that way. Thanks, and I hope um, you come around for other examples and things that maybe get you thinking about uh, what it means to create great workplaces, great cultures, thriving environments. And remember, no one's perfect, but we can become, the end with that is that we can, can become magical and extraordinary. It's a matter of how long we can do it and, and getting there and then how long. Okay, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hope you're having a great summer and hope to see you soon. Bye for now.